We have told you about some of the signals that you might be giving off to other people with your body language, but today we're going to talk about your significant other. Are you treating your girlfriend like just a friend, or is she trying to give you the brush off? We'll tell you some surprising hints about your body language. To get the latest from The Hub, be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. This kiss. Once you get past that potentially awkward first kiss, your smooches can reveal the health of your relationship. A lingering kiss lets you know that your partner desires to be close to you, and if they pull you into a tight hug as well, that's a really good sign. However, a quick closed lip kiss means that your partner is feeling tense and trying to avoid intimacy. Paired with a hug in which their chest remains concave is a really bad sign. Date night. Just because you're not one of those couples who insist on sitting next to each other for a meal doesn't mean your relationship is doomed. Acknowledging your partner's presence with a glance and a smile sends a signal of positive recognition, and it means that you're both enjoying your meal together. Happy couples will often mirror each other's pace, meaning if your partner is scarfing down his dessert while you're still halfway through your entree, that means you're having a serious disconnect. Arguing even the happiest of couples have spats from time to time. Although they might look furious, happy couples will face each other and make eye contact to communicate that neither plans on running away. Looking down at your partner or crinkling your nose at them shows a complete lack of respect. Crossing your arms and rolling your eyes shows that you don't value their opinion and you're not really listening to them or taking in what they're saying. Relaxing. Even kicking back on the couch can tell you a lot about your relationship. You don't have to be constantly curled up together, but if you're mirroring each other's body language and your bodies are angled towards one another, that's a really good sign you're comfortable in your relationship. If you use every commercial break to dart to the kitchen or check your phone instead of talking to or looking at your partner, it shows that there is a serious connection missing. Walking. When you care about someone, you'll subconsciously try to keep pace with them while you walk. Research has shown that even the heartbeats of happy couples are often in sync. If one partner is dedicated to marching ahead of the other, it often signals a level of hostility. Walking off with a complete disregard to what your partner is doing shows a complete lack of care and concern. Holding hands. Holding hands is a basic but important indicator about the health of your relationship. If you find your palms facing outward, you're more likely to be the submissive partner, while if your thumb is on top, you're likely dominant. Scientists believe that this is because our ancestors once showed our submission by showing up our hands palm side up. Interlocking your fingers indicates a level of closeness and connection to one another. Stand by me. Take notice of how you and your partner stand next to each other. Standing far apart from one another indicates an emotional as well as a physical distance between you. If your upper bodies are making contact with one another or they're just close together, this indicates your relationship is loving. The more closeness and contact, the deeper your emotional connection. Showing you care. If you're venting about your bad day to your partner, there are some simple ways to tell if they're actually listening. Putting their hand over their heart indicates that they're emphasizing with your situation, as does lightly reassuring you with physical contact. If someone says they're sorry for your rough day, but they make no movement, it's likely that they're not really invested in your emotions. If their shoulders start to slouch, it could mean that you're overwhelmed by your feelings, or that they're irritated with you, or they simply aren't sure how to best help you. Touching. Touching someone's upper back or just below their shoulder blades is a way to indicate support and reassurance. It's a way to non-verbally indicate that you have someone's back literally. Our lower backs are sensitive, so a touch on that part of your back carries a more intimate meaning, especially if the hand lingers just a bit. Touches on your waist or hip means that the person wants to get closer to you. Sleep on it. Your body language is even giving you clues when you're not awake to take them in. You've probably heard of people spooning. This position signifies a level of trust for the little spoon and a feeling of protection for the big spoon. If you sleep with your backs towards each other, it can mean that you feel like you need space in the relationship. If one partner is hugging the other person tightly, it means it feels that they're feeling distant and hope to reestablish a connection with their partner. Sleeping on your stomachs together can indicate that one or more of you is feeling vulnerable. Do you feel a sense of renewed love for your partner, or are you starting to worry about some things? Hopefully these body language pointers will help you understand your relationship even better. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more content. Bye for now!